Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel again. In this video, I will show you a way to delete files or folders that cannot be deleted in Windows, and a message could not find this item appears. When deleting a folder or file, if you encounter an error message while trying to delete a file or folder that says, this item was not found, it can be frustrating when a stubborn folder or file refuses to be deleted by normal methods, leaving you stuck so I will explain it to you step-by-step step to overcome this problem. I now have a folder called Work, and inside this folder there are many folders. I will now delete all the folders inside the Work folder. As you can see, the folders are deleted without any problems by default, but I have a folder for some reason that cannot be deleted by default or normal method. Trying to delete it will result in the error could not find this item, because Windows Maybe the reason is invalid or corrupted folders or file system corruption. Whatever the reason, we will try another way to delete the folder. In the search bar, type command prompt and open command prompt as an administrator to work with elevated privileges. In the command window, enter the command that appears in front of you on the screen. While changing the path of the folder you want to delete, I will show you the command in the video description. The rd command is used to remove a directory as to deletes a folder and all its contents, including subfolders. Q cancels confirmation prompts so the deletion can proceed without problems and bypasses the normal Windows file system rules, allowing you to delete files or folders that are causing problems. Then enter the folder path between double quotation marks, dot copy and paste the folder path, and then press enter to execute the command. Once the command is executed, the folder and all its contents, including subfolders, will be deleted. This way you can easily delete files or folders that seem impossible to remove and show the error message, could not find this item, and thus you can bypass these frustrating problems and take control of your files. I think this error is caused by invalid names or extra spaces and dots or corrupted files. I hope this video helps you solve your problem. If you find it useful, please like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more technical lessons, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or need more help. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.